Marcus Rashford facing punishment from Eric Ten Hag overnight out, as Man United prepared to offer new long-term deal to player who was going to be sold last summer. Manchester United's Marcus Rashford could be facing punishment from Eric Ten Hag after he was spotted at a nightclub in Belfast the night before missing a training session with the Red Devils on Friday, according to a report. The 26-year-old participated in training on Wednesday and was photographed at Lavery's Bar that evening before a scheduled day off. It is understood that he visited Northern Ireland to spend time with his friend and former academy teammate Roshan Williams, who is currently signed with Larn FC. The United star was later spotted at Thompson Garage nightclub on Thursday and reportedly flew home via a private jet the following morning. According to The Sun, Rashford reported feeling unwell ahead of Friday's training before Manchester United's FA Cup fourth round trip to Newport County on Sunday, which Ten Hag confirmed in his pre-match press conference. This morning, Rashford was ill and Evans was ill, so we have to see how they recover, but we have. For the rest, players returning, like Martinez, like Shaw, like Maguire, like Case Miro, which is a good thing, the United boss said. Shortly after Ten Hag's comments, videos surfaced on social media showing Rashford partying in Belfast hours before Friday's training session. The report adds that the England international could find himself at risk of punishment after he was slammed by the manager for going out clubbing after United's defeat to Manchester City back in October. Ten Hag addressed the matter on that occasion, stating, I spoke with him about it. It's unacceptable. He apologized, and that is it. For us, it's an internal matter. And the Dutchman added, he is very motivated to put things right. He's totally with us. He has made a mistake, but that doesn't say he's not fitting in. I see him every day in training. What he's doing, I know. Back in December 2022, the United boss made the decision to drop Rashford from the starting lineup against Wolverhampton Wanderers after the player overslept and was late for a meeting. Despite netting in two of his last three matches, the 26-year-old has endured a frustrating season, scoring just four goals across all competitions compared to the 30-goal tally he managed in the last campaign and the Red Devils will face Newport on Sunday and after finishing at the bottom of their Champions League group and being eliminated from the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup is likely the only chance for United to claim a piece of silverware this season. In other news, Man United prepared to offer new long-term deal to Aaron Wan-Bissaka, but on reduced terms. Manchester United's defensive disasters are likely to lead to a defensive overhaul in the summer once Ineos get on board. Centre-back is an area which is in need of repair as United hunt for the perfect partner for Lissandro Martinez with Sir Jim Ratcliffe keen to get Rafael Varane's wages off the books. Right-back could also see change with Aaron Wan-Bissaka said to be part of a swap deal which will see Michael Allies arrive at Old Trafford. Crystal Palace want to re-sign their star while Al Nasser were eyeing a shock swoop, but the fullback is said to want to remain in Manchester. Ob's future. United had triggered a one-year extension option after long-term contract talks hit a snag, but it was likely done to maintain his market value. Now reporter Alex Crook has told Give a Board that United have not given up hope of holding on to the former Palace star while definitely ruling out a January exit. The Red Devils are said to planning new contract talks but on a reduced wage. This ploy is set to be used for a lot of the first team stars as Ineos look to trim the wage bill. I think that's gone as far with him and Casemiro, the Saudi Pro League chiefs have spoken to intermediaries working on behalf, definitely of Casemiro, and I think Wan Bissaka's name has come up as well. New contract on reduced terms, Van Ott are telling me that they don't envisage a scenario where Wan Bissaka goes in this window. I think probably because they've taken up the year option on his contract, they'll probably look to try and extend him to a longer term deal on a reduced salary. I think he's actually done quite a good job for Eric Ten Hag, and he's been one of the more consistent players. Wan Bissaka has made 17 appearances across all competitions this season, registering a couple of assists along the way while also playing as the left back in the most recent Premier League fixture against Tottenham Hotspur. However, these numbers remain low as compared to Diogo Dalot, who already has two goals to his name. This is something the 55 million euro star must improve going forward if he is to secure a long term stay at the club. The right back currently earns £90,000 a week and it remains to be seen if he can get a better deal elsewhere or whether he agrees to taking a pay cut. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the latest